backwards. Well, good evening, everybody. It's Monday night, Team Up Call. My name is Jamie Cantrell. I'm a National Marketing Director for this amazing company, this amazing mission. And I am stepping in for the beloved Terry Luongo, but we are excited tonight to introduce to you some of the most amazing conversations and dialogues from one of the most amazing people that I personally know. I'd like to turn this over to a woman of integrity, a woman of grace, a woman of authenticity. Her name is Holly Morris. Holly lives in Texas with her husband Ryan and her two sons and their family is precious. And Holly's involvement in so many different philanthropic efforts just brings and showcases to life her heart and her compassion to serve others. As a national marketing director with the Juice Plus company, Holly has stepped into the role wearing not only the mom and wife hat, a corporate professional, a fitness professional, but a Juice Plus business professional. And most recently had the prestigious honor of speaking at our national conference in front of 7,000 people to remind them that we are the company with a heart and who and what we are all about. I know that this message tonight will not only bless you, it will ask you to change some thoughts in your head, ask you to explore some questions of what you want in life, and begin the, the idea of dreaming and possibility. And it was with the utmost respect and honor and privilege for me to now turn this evening's call over to a very dear friend of mine and someone I call a huge mentor, Holly Morris. Thank you, Jamie. What a beautiful introduction. I'm so honored to be here with you guys tonight. And it was such an honor to get to share from main stage at conference in Phoenix and now to get to um, share with you. So if some of you, I know this will be a second round for some the first time, but um, grab a pen and paper. There's gonna be lots of little nuggets to share and write down. I am going to share my screen so that you're going to get to see um, firsthand the slides that kind of go along with this because there's great images um, that are part of this story. So just bear with me for a second while I slide a few things around to get this where you guys can all see it. Oh, hello, of course. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to be talking about building a strong and stable, healthy business franchise. And we're going to kind of be looking at these four concepts of share, build, grow, and duplicate. Okay, and so I'm hoping this is going to flow through. Yeah, so it was really surreal for me on stage in Phoenix because it was exactly six years ago that I was on that same stage in Phoenix giving my speech as a new national marketing director. And so really what I wanted to do was just share that journey with people because on that journey, you know, I've learned a lot. Um, and one of those things is to forever be a student. You know, always be willing to learn and shape and grow yourself um, because things are always changing, right? There's new systems, there's new ways to do things. And so that's the first thing I would say is um, if you don't do anything else, you know, always be a student and uh, be willing to learn and try new things. And I also, you know, hope, I don't know what your, um, you know, idea of what you want to walk away from tonight is. Um, some of you, you know, maybe like, I don't even know what I'm doing on this call. <laughs> you know, some of you may have come on for a friend. Some of you have rocking businesses yourself. And so, you know, just, I hope that you'll walk away with just a new passion for a purpose and for people. Um, that's really what I want you to walk away with. But I hope maybe there's some nuggets that you can grab a hold of um, and actually put into action in life, whether it's with this business or just life in general. And so um, for me, I kind of describe my journey in this business as a roller coaster ride. There have been times where it has been so fun, like literally hands up in the air laughing and it's like so easy and awesome. And I just, I'm a thrill seeker. So, you know, it's just like, I can't imagine anything better than a roller coaster ride. Um, and, you know, you're just going with the flow. And I mean, it's just, that's how I, it's been for me and how I describe it. Right. And then there's been other times where it's been hard and that's kind of that downhill part where you're going on that uphill and you know when you're on that part of the coaster you're like oh it's jerky and it's painful and you're thinking what am I doing why am I on this thing you know is this going to be worth it I don't know and so it's just 
it's just painful is the best way I can describe it sometimes. Um, and so I don't know, again, where you're at. If you're like, I have no idea what kind of crazy ride this could possibly be, or I'm on the awesome fun part and I can't imagine anything better, or I'm on that painful part where honestly, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to stay on or not. And I'm so grateful for our friend and mentor of Blind David Beavers. He told me one time when I was on that awesome, fun, rocking part and things were just happening fast. And he said, Holly, this is so awesome. But I want to encourage you that um, whether it's going fast or slow, stay on. He said, because it's the people who stay on who are successful in this business. And that has stuck with me because like I said, not long after that super fun part came the hard part for me and it'll come for all of us. And I know that it'll come again for me at some point. And so I just have to be committed to staying on course. And so that's kind of what we're going to compare it to do today is this roller coaster ride. And my journey began with these two beautiful women, um, Karen Kirkendall and Kathy Crockett. Um, Karen's the one who first shared Juice Plus with me and later connected me to her sister, Kathy. And I wish I could tell you exactly what she said that made me interested in the product and the business. But you know what? The thing is, is I can't. Um, I wonder about you. Do you know exactly what the person said to you who asked you or introduced you to the product or the business? Maybe you do. Um, my guess is a lot of us don't. But you know what I do remember? I remember how they made me feel. I remember that they made me feel valued and important and like they really cared about me and they were trying to help me find solutions to some different problems that I had, you know, with my health and they were trying to help me find a solution there and then later financial strategy and hope for what the business opportunity could provide for our family. And so I just always will remember how they made me feel. They never made me feel pressure or things like that. And um, I know you've probably heard this quote before from Maya Angelou, and that's that, you know, we've learned that people will forget what you said and they'll forget what you did, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. And I think that's worth repeating and us saying again, because it's so true, no matter what we're doing in life, no matter how we're connecting to people, whether it's through this business or through, you know, some other aspect of our life, it's about how we make people feel that really, really matters. And, you know, to, to hear us, to be heard, we have to earn that right. We have to earn the right to be heard. And we do that again by how we make them feel. And I think a lot of times we get so caught up and having the perfect words for things. We want to say the exact right thing. And I want to encourage you, don't get so caught up on the right words, but the right heart behind the words, because that's what people are going to remember. They're going to remember what your intention and your heart was behind the words you were saying, you know, whatever it is that you're sharing in life with them, but particularly when it comes to this product and to this business. So the pressure for me that's one thing I love about this company, you guys, is that there's no pressure. We're going to talk more about this company and the specific benefits of it as a virtual franchise versus other things. But one of those things is that there's no pressure. There's no have tos. So the pressure for me never came from Kathy and Karen. It came from this beautiful woman, Nicole Fletcher, when she came onto the scene. You see, she had been a great friend of mine for many, many years. And for a long time, the timing for neither, either of us wasn't quite right for this business. Um, but then there came a time where the business was going to meet a need in her life. And so she caught a vision for what this business could do. And I have to tell you that she did not catch that vision for me because you see, I had no vision for the business for myself. So I definitely couldn't cast it for her. Um, but I think it's so wise that my upline, Terry and Kathy, you know, they knew that I wasn't reaching out and, and really taking great care of my customers and representatives at that time. And so they would reach down from time to time and say hello and introduce themselves and, you know, to see if there was a place where this business could really meet a need for those people. And they did that for Nicole and it was the perfect solution for her. And she took off and was ready to run fast. And so Terry Longo has told us many, many times on this team that things come up in life sometimes. And it's not necessarily that we have a problem that we need to solve, but it's that we have a decision to make. And so I had to make a decision. Did I want to stay on the sidelines and just cheer Nicole on? Or did I want to jump into the race and run with her? Now, to do that, that meant that I had to grow four sales coordinator legs outside of Nicole's leg to do that and kind of balance her out. And so that meant that I had to step into some caves that were really scary and fearful for me. And I had to get confidence and a passion 
for this virtual franchise that I didn't have. I, at this point, was loving the product. It had made a huge difference in my family and our health. So the product was a no-brainer to me. But the business part, I still was trying to understand, like, what is this virtual franchise thing? And so I can't wait to share with you what I've learned here in a little bit. Um, but that, that was it, is I just had that decision to make. And I also caught a vision at this point and decided that it was just a really a mindset shift. It was a mindset shift and an attitude adjustment for myself um, that went into really wanting to share and live this mission with people. And so ran the race with Nicole. We utilized the fast track programs. Um, and we very quickly, um, our team made it to national marketing director and 24 club, and we had a lot of success. But then that hard part of the roller coaster came. I got distracted. There were things in life. We moved a lot. My mom got sick. Um, and so there were a lot of things that I allowed to distract me. And it's not, again, that that's necessarily bad. Sometimes we need to be able to choose those things. And again, I love that this company allows us to. I didn't have to ask anybody for time off. I didn't have to ask permission. Um, but I was able to take care of those things. And what I know to be true too, though, is that when life distracts us, it will distract our team as well. So, you know, if we're not showing up to the team calls and the meetings, then our teams aren't going to show up either. If we're not participating in the team challenges and things like that, then our team's not going to either. And so that's kind of what happened to me for a little while. And so I'm so glad that David Beaver spoke that wisdom to me of, Holly, when it gets hard, you have to stay on, stay on. And so I remember that. And so that could have been where I put a period at the end of my story. You know, that's it. So, but I'm thankful that it's not. And I can't wait to, to share with you the rest of it. But this is my son, Boone, when he was probably first or second second grade. So I just have to tell you this funny kind of illustration to make my point. And that is that um, he was at, he was given a prompt, you know, like a sentence, and he was asked to write a short story. And the teacher wanted like a paragraph, right? And he's super creative. And he gets in the car. and He's like, Mom, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You know, we have to, got to write a story today. And I already have 32 pages. And I was like, whoa, 32 pages. That's awesome. And he was like, yeah. And so he starts telling me about it. And you know, I'm like, okay, well, um, are you using like good handwriting where they can read the story? Cause you know, I mean, first, second grade. Right. Um, and so he was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm using good handwriting. I was like, that's so awesome. How about, are you starting with capitals at the beginning of your sentences and ending with a period or a punctuation mark at the end? And he was like, yeah, I'm going to, I just haven't needed the period yet. <laughs> you guys 32 pages and he has not needed a period yet. <laughs> So it, it's a hilarious illustration, right? But my point or my question to you in telling you that story is where have you put a period in your life where there doesn't need to be one? Where have you put a period in your story where there doesn't have to be a period right there? And so I think that's a great question for all of us to ask ourselves as we're writing our story. So as we share our story, remember, um, we want to earn the right to be heard by how we make people feel. Okay, and then we want to be in a posture of um, captivating and not convincing. And so we're not a company that's about, you know, we're not people who are about trying to convince somebody that they need a product or that they need a business that they don't need. That's just not who we are. But we do have an amazing product and we have an incredible business opportunity. And we are about sharing that gift with people and just captivating them and creating curiosity so that we can ask great questions and interact with them and hopefully find a way that the product um, or the business could meet a need that they have in their life. So we're about helping people find a solution. Okay, so we want to ask great questions. We want to give options of opportunity to them. And here's the deal. And earning that right to be heard and being captivated, don't be robotic. You know, again, I think sometimes we focus so hard on having the right words and making sure that we say the exact right thing to the exact right person. And it's like, you know what? When you're doing that, it's awkward. And when you're awkward, it's awkward, you know? And we just don't want to be awkward. We want to be positive and captivating. And we just want to lead with our heart and sharing why we think the product or the business could make sense to them. And so I love to use the verbiage. Terry has taught us this forever, but I thought of you because because it takes it off us and it puts it on them. And there's a reason why every single person you're gonna come across that you're gonna think of, 
the fact that the, the product or the business opportunity might be a great fit or a great solution for them. And so that's what we're about. We're just about giving options of opportunity and bringing hope. You know, we are where hope happens for a lot of people. And so we just want to share that gift and that blessing with other people. And so when you're earning that right to be heard and you're being captivating and not convincing, be vulnerable. Share your emotion, whether it's positive or painful or joyful, whatever your emotion is that's tied to your story, your product story, or maybe your business story, share that. Share that and be authentic because that is what's going to captivate people. And again, you're going to earn the right to be heard so that they want to hear what it is that you have to say. And just remember that every single um conversation that you're having, whether it's person to person or on social media, you guys, what's the message that you're sending on social media and how are you making people feel there? If I go to your news wall, how will I feel about you and how will I feel about myself? And just remember that every conversation is an opportunity to connect with people. Okay. So what's the story you're telling? And just remember that the right words will convince, but it's your emotion that will captivate. Okay, so we wanna be positive, passionate, and captivating. Now, let's just get real for a second because there's times that we're not that positive or passionate about sharing fruits and vegetables or being healthy for that matter. We wanna go have a lizard or something, right? So, you know, there's just times where we're not feeling it. What do you do? What do you do in those moments if you really do want to work this as a business and, and grow your income, but you need to get that passion and that positivity back in your life? to be captivating to people because they're going to sense your negativity. If you're negative about anything in your life, that's how you do everything. And they're, they're going to sense it. So how do we get that? Well, for me, there's three kind of go-tos. Okay. The first one is videos and resources, um, information, education calls that we have. And you guys, there's tons of them. You can go to your website. You can go to mission driven model. You can go to the freedom revolution and um, healthy living revolution.com. Like we have some of the most amazing um, educational tools at our hand. And so I'll go to those videos and I'll watch them because it does two things. One, it gives me belief and confidence in this product that we have to offer people. People need this hope. And so it builds my confidence in that and it gives me education and verbiage to feel confident and getting out there and share it with people. But the other thing is it makes me think of people that I can genuinely watch a video on an athlete and their recovery and I can call my friend Ken up and go, Ken, I just watched this video. I don't know if it's going to interest you or not, but I thought about you because I know you're a marathon runner and I'm just curious if maybe it would interest you for your recovery. Would you like me to send it to you? So then I can genuinely think of people that I want to send it out to. And usually I'll think of three to five people or so with almost every video. So that's one option okay, and one idea. Um, the other thing is to connect with people and to sideline buddies, okay, because they are there for us through thick and thin, good and bad. Um, these are just a couple of mine, and some of these are my upline and my downline, and a lot of them are sideline, you know, and so um, find buddies and connect to them, and, you know, there, there are there were 7,000 people at conference, you know, and so it was really easy for me to say there, you know, there's 7,000 people live in this mission with you. So find people that you connect to. Maybe it's because you're, you know, in the same stage of life. Maybe you're at the same stage in the business. Maybe you have hobbies that you share outside of this business together, but find people that you connect to and hold each other accountable, accountable and encourage each other, you know, share, be vulnerable, be real, um, say, ah, I need to make this phone call, but you know, I'm nervous and I want to, to, um, you know, and, and let them encourage you. So find buddies, at least two or three that you can connect with regularly. And you guys, when I say connect with them, I mean, some of them I'm on the phone with daily, some weekly and some at least monthly. Um, you know, so I don't, I don't mean like once every six months, I mean like get connected. Okay. And you take the initiative on this, right? If you're like, Oh, I don't really have those people. Well, it's not that you have a problem to solve, but it's that you have a decision to make. So make a decision to go find those people, okay? 
All right, then the other thing would be testimonials of your, your customers and your teammates that you currently have, your sideline friends, like listen to their stories about what the product and the business has done in their life. I hope that mine tonight will encourage you when you hear the end of it, um, but remind yourself and, and connect with other people's stories. And like I said, you'll remember that you have a gift to share um, and it'll give you that courage. It'll, it'll give you that passion that you need to go out to share with people, okay? Um, so the other beautiful things about buddies is that, and, and this business is predominantly women, not all, we've got lots of men here too, but I don't think men struggle with this quite as much. And that is that it is not a competition. We are about completing each other. So it's not about comparing. I think especially we compare, I know you guys compete too, probably more so than women, but um, you know, that, that it's not just about comparing and wishing and coveting what that other person has, but it's about cheering them on and saying, yes, way to go. When I look at these faces on this screen right now, we are all so different. We have so many different and unique gifts and skills and talents and the way that we do things so different. And you know what? Not only is that okay, it's really good. It's really good because we learn from each other and we challenge each other and we grow from each other. So it's so, so good. So I want to say that too. Okay. So, um, after we captivate, then we want to, you know, begin to share, we've got our passion, we're ready to go out there and we put our mission on the people. Now I want to be the first to say that I have been guilty because I am crazy competitive. And I have been guilty at chasing promotions. When I saw the marketing plan, you know, sometimes you draw a line in the sand for me and it's like, I'm going to do everything I can do to get across it. And what happened is sometimes I looked behind me and the people weren't still there because I was focusing on the wrong thing. But when I changed my mindset and I really started focusing on the mission of inspiring healthy living on the people, the people that were helping get healthier through our product, the people that were helping grow a paycheck through our business. When I look back, most of them are still there. And so when we do that, the points, the paycheck, the promotions, those things will follow if we have our heart and our mind on the right place. And so um, there's lots of different ways to do this. And I want you to hear me say that when, when you focus on the people, it doesn't mean that you're um, complacent and you're just sitting back and you're like, well, I mean, if it comes up in conversation, I'll, I'll talk about it then. That's not the same thing. It's actually kind of to me the opposite because once you know what you know about this product, you know the research behind it, you know the difference it's making in people's lives, how could you not be intentional about sharing it with people? You know, how could you not? And so that's my challenge to you is to um, be focused on the people, you know, and actually reaching out to them and having the courage to share it with them. And so there's different ways to do this, but a daily method of operation, a DMO really will serve you well. Um, this is one that our team has done for a while. We call it the daily grind. And that's where on Monday, who are five people that we've thought about who need the hope of the product, okay? Who, on Tuesday, what about the opportunity? Who are five people that $500 a month can make a huge difference in their life or maybe they have a dream of you know five thousand dollars a month i mean the the options and are of opportunity are limitless and so it could be a little or a lot but there's a lot of people who need that hope and there's also a lot of people who um are just open to earning more income and revenue you know maybe there's not a giant need there but they're open because they get the value of multiple streams of income um, Wednesday, we, we work, we, we, you know, watch videos, we're catching up on team calls, we're, we're connecting to people and resources and education information. On Thursday, Thoughtful Thursday, we're taking care of those customers because that is a huge, huge, huge important piece to us in this business. We don't just make a sale and then forget about our customers. We take care of them. And so making a day to do that and then follow up Friday. That's our job. You know, we don't want to leave people hanging out there. They're busy. They do not have time to try to remember to call me back, you know, and ask me the questions they have. If I'm truly caring about them, right, and putting them first, I'm going to reach out to them and just say, hey, Jamie, I know you're busy, so I wanted to reach out to you and just see if you had any other questions that you needed answered to help you make a decision. I respect a no as much as a, a yes, so you just let me know um, what you need for me to help you make that decision, right? That's from the heart. That's real. That gives people the opportunity to say yes or no, but they don't feel pressured. So that's our job. That's what we do, okay? And then as we get people on board to join the mission with us, 
um, we want to give them a positive income experience. So every single customer, we want to have an amazing product experience and every single distributor, we want to have an amazing income experience. And so what we've been doing the past year or so is really trying to help people see what this opportunity could mean for them and their paycheck what it can mean for the team and what it can mean for the world. Now I'm going to be real and just say, when I say that, I'm like, come on now, that sounds a little cheesy. What's it going to mean for the world? But hear me out as we break these three things down. Okay. Because it's impactful and it is important. So let's walk through it. And um, I love this reference, um, this little posting note page. And the reason I love it, and this is where you can find it here on the left is because it helps us focus on the people as we're helping them get healthier with the products, okay? So each one of these sticky notes represents a person. So when you think about living the mission, when you think about the hundreds and hundreds of people that you know, do you think you could help us get 24 of them healthier by getting on the trio and in installments? And the reason I say at least the trio and in installments is because we know that will give them a really incredible product experience. Now, even better if we can get them on the shred or the, the quad order, that's even better. Okay, so we're putting those people on there too. But minimum trio order on installments. So I'm just wondering, do you think you could help us help 24 people? That's 12 couples. That's 24 kids who are getting the product at no charge through the Children's Health Study Program. And so who are the 24 names of the people that you know and love that we could put on here? Okay, and we're gonna put each person's name on here as we share with them and we help them get healthier by taking the product. And then what's cool is that you can see how by focusing on the people, you're gonna fly through the marketing plan, okay? Because what's gonna happen, the first three orders, bam, you've got a um, $100 bonus and your first promotion is 6% commission. When we get nine more orders and a teammate who's gonna help us, they're gonna print their sheet off like this and they're gonna do the exact same thing. That's 12 orders total, bam, now you've got $300 in promotion plus your 100, that's $400 in promotion plus you're gonna be at the 14% commission level. And then once we get 24 people, excuse me, healthier on that trio, now you're a self-qualified business, which means as you help other people do this exact same thing to fast track to sales coordinator, you're not leaving any money on the table. Okay. You are a qualified business and you're living the mission. So I just love that we can help people see this. And what's really cool is that by filling out this form and focusing on the people minimum, your minimum paycheck would be over $350 a month. So I just wonder, you know, sometimes we throw that number out there and it's like $350 a month. That may or may not sound like a lot to some of you, but I want you to pretend like there's $350 right now. And I just handed it to you. We're sitting across the table from each other right now. And I just handed that to you, Kathy. What are you going to do with that? You know, like, is that fun money for you? Are you going to go do something fun and treat yourself to something cool? Is that to maybe help pay a bill that's kind of stressful for you right now? Um, is that for someone else in your life who you know needs it? And what's cool is not only this month, Kathy, am I going to hand that to you, but next month and the next month and the next month, that's the beauty of residual income. And so I think sometimes when we put it into those dollars and tangible, it takes on a whole new meaning. Okay. And um, so here's something really cool. I, I understood corporate America, but I didn't really understand a virtual franchise and what that meant. And so I want you to pretend like you're in an interview, you're in a job interview and the boss is looking at you and, and he says, Holly, you know, what is it that you're looking for in a company? Tell us what you would want. And I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much for asking me. I'm so glad that you asked because I've just written a few things down here. So thank you. I'm just going to read these off so I don't miss anything. Um, okay. I would like 22% commission and 15% retail profit on everything that I sell and a professional website for my prospects and a private office of my own where I can track everything about my work, including my customers and my earnings and the progress of my team. I would just, I'm organized. I'd like it to all be in one place. So that'd be awesome. And I'm going to need to set my own schedule and work when it suits me and my family. So, you know, if we go on vacation for a month or a couple of weeks, I'm going to get, I'm going to need to be paid for that time. So I'm hoping that won't be a problem. And I expect the company to provide me with all the free training that I need from really prestigious doctors and nurses so that I can become knowledgeable in representing this product. And I expect the company to manufacture the product, warehouse it, see it to my end users, and handle the payment processing. And I really don't want to purchase any inventory either. 
Um, and when I bring in and train any new team members on my team, I want to be compensated a percentage of their sales and the sales of the people that they bring in to like maybe five to 9%. I'm thinking we'd be great on that one. Um, let's see what else I want the opportunity to wrap advance within the company and never be demoted. I also want the chance to earn a bonus for every promotion that I earned. And when I do well, it's kind of my love language. I'm going to need a lot of praise and recognition. And I also want to get a bonus when I help other people get their bonus too, right? And I want my family members and my friends to be able to work here with me. And if I do well and prove myself, um, I'd really like an expense allowance, like $3,000 a month, I think would totally do it. And I'd like some tuition reimbursement for me and my immediate family members and a Christmas bonus, you know, like $1,000 at Christmas would just be wonderful. And just one more thing, one more thing, I promise this is it. I also like a full benefits package for my whole family, including life insurance, medical, dental, disability, long-term health care, um, dental and vision. And you know, just to show you that this is totally a two-way street, I'm willing to give you $50 every single year. How does that sound? Oh, it sounds crazy, right? I mean, they're going to laugh and be like, um, I'm sorry, you're never going to find that. But if you do, you know, come and get us. And you know what, you guys, that's what we have. That is our virtual franchise. So I hope you see by me reading through all of that, you have a gift. Like it is rare and unique. There is nothing else like it. Um, so it is an opportunity that really, I mean, again, how can you hold that back from anybody? Um, it's rare and special. And, you know, don't rule anyone out. Don't rule anyone out. Share it with anyone and everybody who you feel like it can meet a need in their life. Because like I said, a lot of people are just even open to multiple streams of income. They're hearing that message more and more often now. And so make sure they know that this is a really unique and amazing opportunity at a virtual franchise. There's, there's nothing like it. Just like our product is completely unique in the marketplace, there's nothing like Juice Plus out there on the market, truly. There's a lot of things that say they're copycats and that they're like Juice Plus, but they're not. Um, and so just like it's totally unique in the marketplace, our virtual franchise is completely unique to the marketing place. There's, there's not anything like it. Um, so what's cool too is that the more people you share it with, the wider your business grows, the more solid and sound it is, and also the less pressure you or they feel. And so I'm a, I'm a picture person, so this made a lot of sense to me when I heard about it. So think of your business as a deck of cards. So to have a complete deck of cards, a great playing game, you need, you know, some twos, some threes, some fives, some tens, some kings, queens, right? You need a few of each one. If you had an entire deck of kings, you wouldn't have a great playing hand for a lot of games, right? You need a little bit of all of them. And so our virtual franchise is the same way. Everyone is important, whether they're doing a little or a lot. And so you need some dealers and direct distributors and virtual franchisees and sales coordinators and all the way up. And so constantly we want to be helping people promote themselves, right? Work their way up the marketing plan and bringing new people in. Okay, working up, bringing new people in to be super successful. That's the mindset that you want to go into it with. And it's all just about blessing more people. Okay, growing your market. And then the other thing is, is that we want to create a culture and a community that people don't want to leave. And we hear that often that, you know, it's easy for people to leave a product or quit a product. It's sometimes easy for them to walk away from the money sometimes or find it elsewhere. But it's really, really hard to leave a culture and a group of people who are like minded and who are encouraging. And, you know, the more you talk to people and about the work environments that they're in, it's very rare and unique also to find a culture and a community where people are for you. They are for you. They are cheering you on. They are pushing you to stretch and grow. We hear all the time, I think it was David Beavers who originally said that, you know, this business is like a personal growth course. And so it grows us and it stretches us. Um, and yet it's a group of people who truly, truly is for us. And so we do that in lots of different ways. Um, one of the first things we do is on our team Facebook page, when a new representative comes on board, we want them to feel welcomed. And so we post their picture, tell a little bit about them, and then we just want to come all on board and just say, welcome, welcome. You're going to love this place and you belong. A lot of people are looking for a place to belong. And so we want them to know that 
they can come here. Um, and so that's one of the first things we do. And then we celebrate. We celebrate from the small steps to the huge giant steps. And so some of the ways we do that is by recognizing people you know, in writing individually who get five customers or one new teammate every month. We also recognize team effort, what people do collectively as a team in our qualifiers clubs and um, people who are just leading teams. And so big shout out to these girls. These are my frontline sales coordinators and above. And, you know, they have fought hard for their businesses. They've gone through a lot of no's, a lot of rejection, a lot of hard things, but they have fought hard for their businesses. And because of it, they have a solid, solid income experience happening every single month. So I'm super proud of them. Now, another thing I've learned along the way is not to give up on people when their timeline is not your timeline. So remember how I said the pressure for me never came from Kathy and Karen, because there were a lot of years I loved the product, but I had no vision for the business. And um, that duplicated. And this is my one of my best friends, Stephanie Fletcher, and she um, is one of those people that was on my dream team. I just knew if she ever caught a vision for this business, it could do amazing things for her and her family. Um, and I would share that with her from time to time, but I would always follow it with, you know, Steph, don't ever do this for me, but do it for you, you know, and what it could be for you and your family. And so there were a lot of years that, you know, she just said, yeah, yeah, and, and kind of pushed it back, but it wasn't the right time for her. And so again, how do we make people feel during that time, right? That the door is always open, but there's no pressure to have to do anything. And so later, it was that third party validation. It was at an event with other people when she saw them. And, and it was really that aha moment that for many of this, for many of us, this business is what we call a so that business. The product is incredible and we love to share it and we love to help people get healthier. But the business is also really a blessing and that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to have high expectations and dreams and goals to make a great income. And a lot of times when we get there, it allows us to do other things. It's so that we can do other things. And so she started to see that in these, these people, you know, doctors and teachers and business owners and other entrepreneurs and that they could be doing anything they wanted with their life. And they were choosing to do this business because of what it can provide for them and their family. So she caught a vision and she took off and she did exactly these things we're talking about. She loved on people well, she earned the right to be heard, she with passion and compassion captivated people, shared her story, connected them to the product and the business. And you guys, she skyrocketed to um, being a new national marketing director at this last conference. And she had amazing structure going into it. She didn't just like barely skim by, but um, their team rocked it. And what's really cool is, um, look at that. She had 18 qualifiers, 10 of them were customer qualified. Remember that posting note sheet I was talking about? So 10 of them have that completely filled out, meaning that they're gonna be there every month. It's not gonna be wishy-washy. Um, they're gonna be solid every month. And so congratulations to Steph and her team. It's been really fun. And again, they did that by d building deep and wide using those fast track programs. Um, okay. So never underestimate the power of one, you know, one conversation at a time, one order at a time, a qualifier at a time, a sales coordinator and POB. That is what produces a really healthy and stable franchise that will be a six figure income for you. It could be a so that, you know, what do you want to do from there? And so I asked my team, I wish I could share this video with you. Um, but we can put it on our team page afterwards if you want. But um, I asked my, my, some of my teammates who were going to be at conference, who were sales coordinators and above, I said, would you just record a quick video for me? It doesn't need to be, you know, thought out or perfect. I just want your heart response to these two questions. What does it mean to you to be a part of this culture and community? And what does it mean to you to have a solid income experience every single month coming in? And I just want to read a couple of these to you since I can't show the video through Zoom. Um, Jennifer Phillips says, everyone empowers and helps each other. Corey Jones says, I believe, I'm believed in more than I even believe in myself. And Lindy Jones said, it quickly went from joining because I needed the finances to realizing I needed the friends. And Lisa Mosley said, now I can go and follow the lives of my 10 grandchildren. Grandchildren, It's given me back to my family. And Jessica Brown said, before I joined this team, no one had ever asked me to dream big. There is actually a way that those dreams can come true. Oh, 
That's huge, you guys. So I want to ask you, what is, what is your dream? You know, if time and money and all those things weren't an obstacle for you, what would your dream be? What would be your so that? What would you be doing? And um, I'm going to come back to that in just a second. But let's, let's talk about this thing, this world thing. What does it mean to the world? Well, we want to create something that will make the world awesome, an awesome place, an awesome community and culture that, again, people want to be a part of. And I love that our president, Jay Martin, he has said it's not about being the best in the world, but it's about being the best for the world. And trends show that more and more consumers, it's very important to them that consumers um, see that the people and the companies that they are purchasing from are doing good things with their money. And so if that's important to consumers, that needs to be important to us. And so that's why I think it's important that we do know and that we advertise and that we say what we are doing to make this world a better place. And so this is what we're doing because you're a part of this Juice Plus franchise, or maybe you're considering it. Maybe you take the product. Um, because of that, we are the title sponsors for the St. Jude's Research Hospital. And if you don't know what that, what they they do for the world what that hospital does please google them <laughs> your belief will be built like crazy the boys and girls club the children's hunger fund and the volunteers of america are just some and our team we actually decided to just follow our president jay martin's lead and to do some of our own initiatives as well and we got to be a part of kathy crockett's team making it to 100 club and ten thousand dollars was donated to pure hope foundation and then our team set a goal the last couple of months um, to reach people and get them healthier. And because of that, not only were we helping our dreams come true, but we decided to make a dream come true for the women of Pure Hope Foundation of the Hope Home. And a couple of them had on their dream board that they wanted to go to a Broadway musical. And so we were able to purchase them new dresses and shoes and take them to a fancy dinner in a limo, no less. And they got floor seats to watch the Lion King musical. And we just took them to do that um, the first part of May. So, you know, sometimes people are more willing to step into those caves they fear for other people than they are themselves. And that's what we found when we, we decided to do something bigger than ourselves with this. Um, and so I want to tell you the rest of my story. You know, I'm really glad I didn't listen to the no's and the naysayers. Um, and let me back up just a second. I'll just leave this image up here. 11,000 people were asked in a survey, what stands between you and where you want to be? And they expected to hear things like time, money, work, health. But you know, one reason rose to the top. And you know what that was? It was fear. Fear. We tell ourselves we can't do it. We worry what other people will think. We're always close to failing. People will try to discourage us, but we have a choice, our fear or our faith. The energy we put into it is what people will respond to. So take the risk. Don't accept the no ever. And so I'm so glad that I didn't accept the no because what I get to tell you is the rest of my story. I didn't put a period where I could have earlier and didn't listen to those no's. I stayed on the coaster and I kept doing the hard things and kept entering those caves and reaching out to drum up my passion and compassion and sharing with people. And three years ago, we got to choose for my husband to leave his corporate job um, in the healthcare system and to begin working for a nonprofit that we didn't even know if they would ever be able to write us a paycheck. And in these three years, we've bought land, we've built a home, and every single day we get to partner with our sideline friend that we met through this company. Um, her name is Catherine Lee, and she had a vision to have a home for women who were victims of trafficking to help them restore their lives. And it makes me want to cry that we get to choose every single day to live our so that um, of living this mission and helping these women get their lives back together because we said yes and we didn't listen to our fears in this business. So what is it for you? What is it that you have on your heart and who is waiting on you to overcome your fear? Because they need you. They need you. They need the product. They need the hope of the business or they need you to be in a place where you can live out that passion that you have. So I'm going to close with this final thought. It's from a book. I've just paraphrased this from a book um, by Andy Andrews, and it's called The Traveler's Gift. If you haven't read it, get it. It's a great, easy read book. It's got so many nuggets in it. 
And um, this is just one that I've rephrased that I want to leave as a blessing to you as you continue your journey. And also to me as I continue mine, because here's the thing. It's a roller coaster ride. And on that roller coaster ride, we're going to hit the valley. But you know what? That's necessary to get to the climb right? To get to that hard part, but that's necessary to get to the view, to get to the thrill, to get to that awesome place. All of that is necessary. So I'm going to stop my screen share and I'm going to finish out with this last little thought. Okay. And that is that fear no longer has a place in your life. For too long, fear has outweighed your desire to make things better for your family. Never again. You have exposed fear as a vapor. It's an imposter. It's never had any power over you in the first place. Do not fear opinion, gossip, or the idle chatter of monkeys because it's all the same. Do not fear failure. For in life, failure is really just a myth. Failure exists only for those who quit. Don't quit. You are courageous. You are a leader. Seize the moment and choose now. Thank you guys for being on. Get with the person who invited you with tonight. You know, um, just share your hearts with each other. Okay, so thanks for being on. Blessings to you. We're going to stop the recording at this point.